So today we're turning a Japanese vanilla ice cream. We are converting 16,000 litres of ice cream mix into approximately 18,000 cups. So the pillar's running at 40 tubs a minute. So we'll be churning today for about eight hours. We're turning the, the liquid ice cream mix into ice cream as, as you know it. After this churning process, then we harden it. So that'll be what you are used to when you buy it from the, from the supermarket. So we take it way downtown. Now we go, now we go deep. So the milk is coming into the back of the churn. It's getting beaten and air is getting incorporated into the milk and at the same time it's been frozen. So the milk going into the churn will be at about 3 degrees. It's coming out at negative 5 degrees. Fresh milk, fresh cream, sugar, some emulsifier and stabiliser. This factory is, um, runs to Japanese standards. They are our main, main customer. We want it coming off the churn at about minus 5 degrees which it is today. So it's all being pumped through these pipes across to the filling machine. We're working about a 10 hour day. All the ice cream ingredients, so fresh milk, fresh cream, sugar, which is 90% of the ice cream mix, are all made in New Zealand. We allow a 50 gram tolerance because uh, ice cream is filled as a volume, not a weight. So this plant is, um, is big on hygiene. Japan is our major market. Uh, they've got really, really tight hygiene standards. So the New Zealand made ice cream is to that higher standard as well. ice cream goes onto the rack and goes into a glass freezer to be hardened. So this is our glass freezer. The ice cream stays in here overnight. It's running at about minus 33 degrees. So tomorrow morning that ice cream will look like ice cream as you know when you take it out of your freezer. Kelly's ice cream under the cream de la cream brand is premium ice cream. We're up around 12% milk fat. We're always playing, coming up with ideas. Our main market is Japanese export ice cream, although Korea and China are very big too. I've been in the dairy industry since the day I left school. My dad, my grandfather, my uncles, everyone in my, fa my family's worked in the dairy industry.